the controversial rise of Jinxie, right? I I had no idea who Jinxie is. Un, until suddenly he was everywhere and he's like the number one streamer now? I had no idea how he suddenly turned up. Like, apparently he just randomly, like, boom, exploded. So, when the internet an anarchist uploaded this video, oh, I thought, yeah, gotta watch it. I've never seen this guy who? Apparently the number one streamer at the moment. Or one of the top streamers, on Twitch anyway. I don't think there was a prank, I think the neighbors just took it and reported it as home notions. Maybe. Maybe. Jinxie's journey on Twitch has been nothing short of unreal, from spending years only streaming to five viewers, to becoming there. the number one streamer on Twitch See? seemingly out of nowhere. Jinxie's antics on camera have earned him praise, infamy, and everything in between. This is my world and you're just... <laughs> However, Jinxie's rapid rise to the top hasn't come without its fair share of controversy. The then guy, I thought that's Tyler. See, I'm getting called a view botter. Stick around, I'll get into that. You fucking idiot! 15k bots. <laughs> Chat, yes, bro, I'm literally getting called a view botter, dude. I'm not even. Accusations of viewbotting, stimulant use on stream, and being an iShow speed oh, clone yeah? have all been leveled against Jinxie. But are these claims valid? And if not, how on <laughs> earth did he manage to dominate the streaming world so quickly? Hi, I'm the Internet Anarchist. Yeah. I create weekly YouTube documentaries, and today we'll be uncovering the controversial rise of a modern streaming legend. Yes, Jinxie, they actually an upgrade. <laughs> a streamer that seemingly defied all logic to climb the ranks on Twitch, even while playing a quote dead game. Jinxie, real name Nicholas Stewart, began his Twitch journey huh? around January 2019 under the username I Sweat Games, where he would play his favorite video yeah. game Rainbow Six Siege. Throughout his first six months on Twitch, Jinxie barely received 13 viewers even on his most popular streams. Hey, Only 13 viewers is still a lot for starting out. 13 viewers is also a lot for starting out, eh? Averaging less than five viewers on a regular day. He yeah. even tried streaming Gotta other start. more popular games like out. Fortnite and Apex Legends with the hopes of boosting his numbers. But mm, playing popular games is not gonna help you boost your numbers. Let me tell you that, chat. We are talking about drama? No, we're talking about the controversial rise about Jinxie. Apparently. Maybe it's drama. I don't know. We're just talking about Jinxie and how he has risen to num the number one streamer. I don't watch him, but good for him. Yeah. Oh. Oof, mistake number one. <laughs> But sadly, it didn't pan out well, as he'd only gained one or two followers at the time. Yeah, Receiving poor engagement it, like that for several well. months would discourage anyone. To be honest, me streaming in the just chatting category. It's a guess what? Water time. <laughs> okay. Streaming in the just chatting category. I never thought I'd actually be doing that one day. I never thought I'd be doing that one day because I thought that's actually bad for um, growing, as, growing as well. But fucking hell, here we are, man. Here we are. ...from further pursuing streaming, and even stop most from streaming entirely. However, that wasn't enough to stop 18-year-old Jinxie from bringing his... Oh, wait, go back. I, I didn't catch this. ...as he'd only gained one or two followers at the time. Receiving poor engagement like that for several months would discourage anyone from further pursuing streaming, and even stop most from streaming entirely. However, that wasn't enough to stop 18-year-old Jinxie from bringing his absolute best to every stream. Good. To your right... Been ah, big deer egg. Ah! Oh my god. I love you, Rainbow! Unfortunately, being undiscovered in the streaming world. <laughs> Did he not go through his uh, voice maturing yet? What do you mean 18? What do you mean 18? Bro sounds like he's 12. What do you mean 18? Oh, 15. It says it right there. Jinxie when he was 15. Ah, big deer egg. Ah! Okay, okay, okay. I love you, the clips were just, it was just portrayed a little bit poorly. Best to every stream. Like, like, he, he said something about him being 18. 18. However, that wasn't enough to stop 18-year-old Jinxie from there. bringing his absolute best to every stream. That's why I thought 18. Fanning. See? To your right. And that's when he was 15, okay? That's just like... A little bit misleading. Been eliminated. Ah, big deer egg. Ah! 
I love you, Rainbow! Unfortunately, being undiscovered in the streaming world wasn't Jinxie's only disadvantage. Not only was his game of choice not a mainstream title, but Siege also faced several major issues, such as the developers lowering the skill gap, server-side bugs, and rampant cheating with cheating. aimbots. Woo! These problems led to a sharp decline in both Twitch viewership and play count for Siege, which resulted mm. in a smaller pool of potential viewers for Jinxie, no, with personally. some players even speculating that the game was already dead, it only made sense for streamers that wanted to grow to Every game nowadays is dead. Every game is already dead. Game comes out a week later, dead. <laughs> people play through it? And people stop playing it because the story is over? Dead. <laughs> jump ship to another game. Don't touch Despite it, trust this, me. Jinxie continued to play Siege religiously for the rest of 2019 and focused on being more of an entertaining personality instead of relying on a popular title. What? Mm. That's a good, that's good way to do it. Rolex! On Jinxie's tendency to burst into incoherent rage on stream gradually became a core component of his online persona. However, he didn't do this randomly for shock value. At its core, Siege is a tense tactical shooter game that requires a high degree of concentration, which generally would mean the average streamer isn't going to be as high energy during a stressful situation. However, this doesn't apply to Jinxie, as he consistently lets his emotions run wild whenever he gets a kill or gets killed. Oh, for fuck's sake. Couple this with the fact that Jinxie had been playing the game for over two years before joining Twitch meant that viewers would be entertained regardless of how a round ended. Literally bodied. Oh my goodness. Where are you going? Where are you going? You're lost? Dollar Tree headset? While Jinxie was certainly doing his best to be engaging on stream, he would need to find a more reliable way to attract viewers since he was mm -hmm. still only averaging five viewers and had less than 300 followers. Jinxie might have been optimistic. Come on, man. Don't call out the small streamers like that. <laughs> okay, okay. It's not a call out, but it, it's true. It is true. You got like... You gotta put some work into it. You you gotta put some work into that to grow. You can't just grow from non-stop streaming. Stick on camera, Unless but he knew he had to try somebody. something completely different. Because if not, his Twitch channel would continue to slowly stagnate and eventually die. By February 2020, Jinxie would implement a simple but effective strategy to improve his follower count on Twitch, okay. streaming for longer hours and going live every single day. While Jinxie had maintained a somewhat frequent Twitch schedule in 2019, he had several week-long gaps and impaired his growth. Now, mm, Jinxie was bad. going live at a set time daily. He would have streams that lasted between 2 and 9 hours, playing nothing but Siege while giving viewers and other players his unfiltered opinions. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Hey yo, my ears. He's please. 70 HP after that. <laughs> okay, this guy just absorbed fucking shotgun to the nostril, and he's like 70 HP. At first, his new strategy only yielded marginal results. But as the weeks turned to months, Jinxie's follower count went from 300 to 3,000. By the 30th of August 2020, Jinxie would triple that figure and surpass 12,000 followers with an average viewership of 150 oh, live viewers. By being active for so long, Jinxie had trained his viewers to tune in as frequently as possible to see more rage-fueled gameplay. Smaller okay. creators are often advised to stream or upload consistently, which is a good rule to abide by. Yes. However, that's only half of the equation. In Jinxie's case, he was building an audience by improving too. not just the frequency of his streams, but their length and quality. Interestingly, Jinxie would use the second half of the year to experiment with other avenues to grow his viewer base, a move that would change his career forever. On the 15th of September 2020, Jinxie uploaded his first there known YouTube, YouTube video, Jinxie Rage Compilation 1, which introduced his there bizarre freakouts to a brand new audience. So many people say uh, Twitter and TikTok are the way to grow, but I 100% believe YouTube is the way to grow. Like, it's firstly, okay, it's very hard to get discovered on YouTube, but when the algorithm picks you up, you stick to that algorithm and you go. And you take it and you take advantage of it and you keep going. You can't just drop. Once that algorithm has picked you up, YouTube is gonna bring in the views and the viewers.
YouTube is where I found you. So yeah, I agree. Yeah, YouTube is where ninety percent of you came from. Ninety percent of you came from YouTube. It's got wall bang. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't watch this on stream, right? I would watch this on stream, but watching it as a YouTube compilation once in a while, I can see it. I, I can see it. <laughs> I wasn't even planning on staying kids to stream, yet here I am visiting every stream. Aww. Your YouTube algorithm shows me new VTubers every day, so aww. <laughs> I've also um, think that uh, recently in the past weeks, uh, the YouTube algorithm has done their best to recommend uh, uh, smaller streamers to people. I came from my mother. Very bad way to say it. <laughs> Happy birthday? Okay, I need to chat. I'm sorry. I need to lock in. That is terrible. Repurposed rage clips weren't the only thing that Jinxie uploaded, as he created various gameplay tutorials and 1v1s okay. with fans and fellow Siege players. Oh! People love that. People love seeing streamers interact with viewers, especially when they are gaming together. One we once. Beautiful. Beautiful. Jinxie vs E2, man. I don't know why so many people want to see this. So like... They just eat it up. They love seeing it. They just love interacting with streamers. People just love interacting with streamers. They really do. It's simple as that. Yeah, if you guys want to support the stream, consider subscribing. Crocky, thank you the Prime sub. Bro, I wish my face cam was working, but... Um, so basically, this campaign's so basically, uh, I got like literally hundreds of requests to 1v1 him. I don't know why. Like, in one stream, I had hundreds of people request for this. So I'm all about giving the why people are you calling what the people us want. Out? I'm sorry. Around this time, Jinxie created a TikTok account where he posted similar rage clips to what was on his YouTube channel. Although TikTok is good, right? TikTok is okay for growing. TikTok is okay for growing, but. It's not as good as YouTube. Because a lot of people on TikTok, they just want to stay on TikTok. The majority of people, the majority of people on TikTok, they want to stay on TikTok. Uh, for some reason. I don't understand why. I don't understand why, but the majority of people want to stay on TikTok. You will still get viewers onto Twitch and onto YouTube from TikTok, but it's, it's a really small percentage. His first account was taken down for unknown reasons. No. It was around long enough to allow Jinxie to rip the benefits of short form content and establish a dedicated fan base on the planet. And I kind of don't know why kids appeared to me since my algorithm is trying to give me DJ and stuff. I mean, I mean, <laughs> they can't handle one person talking longer for that. Longer than 60 seconds? Uh, for longer than 10 seconds, really. Hello. Although his first account was taken down for unknown reasons, it was around long enough to allow Jinxie to rip the benefits of short-form content and establish a dedicated fan base on the platform. This is the official TikTok oh of my Jinxie. God. My old one got taken down at 200,000 followers. Aww. So make sure you drop a follow on here for daily videos. A detail that may seem inconsequential, but becomes important later, was that Jinxie played exclusively on content specifically okay. Xbox. Since Siege is Wait, a cross-platform shooter, players who want to get an edge like pros and content creators generally gravitate to a mouse and keyboard, even if they're playing on a console. This meant that casual or intermediate players who couldn't use keyboards had almost no options regarding tutorials or reaching a higher level. However, Jinxie didn't follow that trend since he played oh, with a damn. controller for years. This aspect of Jinxie's brand became immensely appealing as new viewers associated with a stereotypical sweaty console player. He had identified an underserved market of console players and gave them exactly what they wanted. For fair, the rest fair, of 2020 fair. and 2021, the positives of Jinxie's consistent posting schedule became even more apparent as his Twitch page reached over 200,000 followers while averaging almost 500 viewers on each stream. Special events like his birthday marathon stream easily doubled that figure. Direct interactions with his viewer base was also on the rise as Jinxie would host 1v1s and ranked matches as well as encouraging people to repost clips of his stream highlights. Uh. I am the 
one who knocks. By 2022, the sheer volume of viral content revolving around Jinx's wild antics had captured the attention of the entire Rainbow Six community, especially the game's developers, who would shout him out in a tweet and yeah. add an item into the game for him. The first three sick. months of 2023 saw Jinxie's online career grow to all-time highs in every metric possible, with 400,000 subscribers on YouTube, millions of followers on TikTok, and an outstanding 53,000 subs on Twitch. As a streamer, Jinxie wow. was in an extremely comfortable position, and other creators who achieved similar success opted to take things easy moving forward. However, Jinxie's competitive nature would never allow for it, as he sought new ways to push himself and his career forwards. One it's such important. It is so important. Even if you're at the top or in the top 10, you gotta keep going. Don't get comfortable. Keep making the content. Keep improving. Stop stagnating. Stop thinking, oh, I've made it now and I don't need to do anything anymore. No, you gotta keep pushing the content out. You gotta keep pushing that improvement out. You gotta keep that grind going. Keep being on the grind forward was a direct challenge to the number one siege player in the world you versus me mano imano 1v1 tonight oh you're you're the best pc champion you won a world championship nobody cares find me on oregon tonight 9 p.m oregon you better be there if you're not there i'm taking that as a duck you better be there I wonder if he went there. how insane of a challenge this was, the Siege community viewed Jinxie as an above average console player, while Belu was a keyboard and mouse legend with several pro tournament victories under his belt. Okay. Jinxie was clearly the underdog, and all 40k viewers that tuned in on the 19th of March 2023 knew Did that fact, but they still wanted to see if he could do the impossible. Did he win? I'm coming for the throne right Did now. See? Did he do the impossible? I'm coming for the throne right now. Bolo is scared. I know. <laughs> I know, I know, hey bro, I know! The first round would go to Belu after Jinxie failed to react fast enough when I'm peeking around the right corner. Now. I am rooting for him right now. Like, dude! However, Jinxie made a striking comeback following a perfectly timed bomb detonation. He's big window, he's gotta be. Let's go! Successful. Rounds 3 to 11 would see the pair trading blows, but never allowing the other to get ahead by more than one win, as the okay. victor of each round was decided in mere milliseconds. Better aim, bro. By the 12th round, Jinxie was at the edge of his seat, pouring every ounce of skill and focus into the game. But would that be enough to grant him the win? Come on. Come on. That operator is so oh. cringe! Oh, shit. Why did I not ban it? Why did I not ban it? Oh, GG's, bro. Jinxie had put up an excellent fight and performed better than 99% of console siege no. players, but he unfortunately came up short. No. While he did lose the match, Jinxie gained the respect of the entire Rainbow Six community and cemented his place Definitely as one of the greats. In the days that followed, clips from Jinxie's match with Belu would spread far beyond the Rainbow Six community and spill into the wider esports world. As a result, Holy millions shit. of people who wouldn't have heard of him otherwise got a taste of his bizarre brand of gameplay, and many of them were immediately hooked. By the end of April 2023, Jinxie had surpassed 1 million followers and averaged nearly 10k viewers per stream, Go! as well as almost doubling his Twitch Lumber subs to Twitch over 80k, already. making wow. him the number one sub streamer on Twitch. Looking at Jinxie now, many would assume he blew up out of nowhere, but in reality, he'd been laying the groundwork for his success for over five years, most of which saw little to no growth. Jinxie had overcome countless days of unseen effort and finally got the chance to live a life he could only have a dream of. Bro, I started streaming when I was 17 years old. I'm about to turn 22 in like a month, two months. The amount of motherfuckers that never believed in me, bro. The amount of motherfuckers that will tell you I that agree. you can't do something because they can't imagine themselves doing something. It's ridiculous. Bro, do not let anyone tell you shit, bro. Exactly. Do not let anyone tell you anything, bro. He's right. You can literally do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> yes, right. But God, you gotta chill. <laughs> 
Despite the overwhelming success, Jinxi didn't get lazy as it continued to stream and post daily for the rest go. of 2023, achieving millions of followers on TikTok, YouTube, and Twitch. Jinxi being the largest siege creator naturally made him the face of the game. However, that recognition came with a few drawbacks. At the start of 2024, various members of the siege community would accuse him of promoting toxicity, as many of his younger viewers emulated his less than admirable <sighs> traits. With posts reading, took a couple months off from playing, and so far, the Jinxi clones are the worst thing to happen. When I, I hate it when people are literally just copying like bigger streamers and think it's cool. He's not wrong, but my peaking that much is not my cup of tea. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree, I agree. I hate it when people just copy the bigger streamers and their quote-unquote toxicity. It's... Ugh, I hate it. I hate it so much when people do that. When I came back, That's, I started seeing... It's so unfunny and stupid. A bunch of people with jinxy esque names and they always have the worst attitudes and are super unhelpful to the team. As well as Jinxie ruined Siege. Yes, he pretty much single-handedly revived the game, but now it's basically unplayable. Then, there were accusations of Jinxie being an Aisho Speed clone. I look like Speed. <laughs> it's okay. just this like new... Yo, way. what is this? Yo, 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 yo. What is this shit that people calling me a Speed clone, bro? I am nothing like speed, bro. I am literally nothing like speed. I wouldn't know. Oh, I don't wow. watch we either. Both yell, Shut the fuck up! But this wasn't the only instance of Jinxie's success being called into question, as Trainwreck would allude to him using bots to boost his viewership. What? Who would you say is like the number one botter? Like what Trainwreck said? That <laughs> train. Like that gets away with botting <laughs> OD. Like maybe Shots bots. Hat. Here's what I can say: of the top 100. On Twitch, 75 are botting. Who's the number one botter, though? I know who you guys want me to say, but Wait, that's what? not the number one botter. The, the number one botter is that. Twitch Jinxie. that are botting massively and making a lot of money from it. And by massively, is this more than 20,000, 50,000? How big are we talking? I'd say minimum between 10 and 20,000 bots. While there's no definitive way to prove these accusations as true or false, looking back on Jinxie's path to fame, he was motivated more by the sheer joy of being a creator rather than the potential success that came along with it. I feel like most people, especially nowadays, when they get into streaming or YouTube or anything, their first goal is to make money on it, but you did it because you were passionate about it, and that's how every great thing starts. But like, the idea of just like, there's nothing wrong with wanting to make money off of content creation, but if it's the sole motivation to make money off of it, then you're not going to make it. Because it's going to be visible that you're only interested in making the money, and you're just going to fall down and be irrelevant at one point. And people will see that shit. People will see that shit. There's nothing wrong with wanting to make money off of content creation, obviously. It's a job. In the end, it... It is a job for a lot of people. It really is. But you you have to be passionate about what you're doing. You have to want to entertain people. Like, I didn't want to be, like, obviously, like, rich from gaming. It was just like, dude, if I can make $1,000 a month streaming. JZ underscore Hazcher underscore 555 just cheered five bits. Kitsu is right, guys. Absolutely. <laughs> I know about message. When I think of massive botting, I always think of facts to life. Absolutely, man. But it wasn't officially botting because it's just view embedding. Oh, I'm so happy that the whole discourse about that uh, actually caused a Twitch to like not count embedded viewers as viewers anymore. I'm so happy about that. And ever since then, you don't hear anything about facts to life anymore. It is so good. I'm so happy about that. Bro, I was from. Let's go back a bit make money on it but you did it because you were passionate about it and that's how every great thing starts but like the idea of just like like i didn't want to be like obviously like rich from <laughs> gaming it was discord fuck up that was the funniest shit ever just like dude if i can make a thousand dollars a month streaming bro i was when i got my first yeah. twitch check i was like bro let's go yeah. currently it, it, jinxie still keeps to his it is it is so surreal to actually get a somewhat decent paycheck off of Twitch. It is so surreal. 
daily streams, but has branched out into other endeavors like the Jinxie podcast, which features several large streamers and YouTubers. In spite of the simple formula behind his content, Jinxie still tries to find fresh ways to keep things new. And with his over-the-top personality, it's unlikely he'll ever stop doing that. While there are many aspects to the strategy that got Jinxie to where he is now, his journey was fueled by genuine excitement, enthusiasm, and a passion for what he was creating. It would have been impossible for Jinxie to be so hyper on stream for several hours across multiple weeks if he didn't love what he was doing. Yeah. It was Jinxie's love for his craft that pushed him to go live daily to only five viewers. And it was that same love that kept him from becoming complacent when he reached the top of Twitch. Even now, he still strives to be the greatest version of himself. And no other point illustrates this better than winning his rematch against Siege's number one player. <laughs> Viewers can subconsciously notice when a creator go. doesn't genuinely care about what they create, and it manifests in low engagement and negative feedback. However, once the audience knows you care about your content, they start to care too, and over time, that's what builds a loyal fan base. There's no guarantee that Jinxie will continue the path he's on. But for now, he is still the same sweaty console player that he's always been, and that's what makes him great. Respect it. Respect the grind. We can respect the grind. I could not, uh, not really do that. ADHD and depression is crippling combo to have. I have ADHD. I have depression. I have PTSD, and I got anxieties. And here I am, still doing it. Here I am, still pushing myself. So if I can do it, you can do it. I believe in you. I fucking believe in you. Oh, goddamn, you broken. Hell yeah, I am. <laughs> Hell yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs>